you're busy. You don't have time for long videos, but you do have time for something that's going to help you be successful in your entire life. I want to talk about something right now that's going to change everything that you do. It's going to give you success from now to 120. It's an incredible thing. When you dive in, you're diving into something that you need, that you want, and you want your prayers to be heard. But you know what? Sometimes things stop your prayers from being heard. What is that? There's something called mechatrigan. There's spiritual blocks at the time that you pray. And you want to remove those blocks because if those blocks are there, your prayer is not going to be accepted. So what do I do to remove those spiritual blocks? Tell me, how do I do it? The Gemara gives us three eights. One eights is, guess what? The blocks come only when you're diving at a time of difficulty. But if you dive in ahead of time, before the difficulty happens, those mechatrigan, those blocks, those prosecutors, they're not there. So we oilam yaktim adam tefillah tzara. Always dive in before the difficulty happens. That's one eitza. That's incredible. That makes my prayers go straight up every time I dive in. Bar Hashem. The second one is, and this one's difficult. The second one is, at the time of difficulty, when the blocks are already there, try very hard to dive in with tremendous kavana. Let's say a person is having an operation, chas He's davening intensely. Kodesh Baruch please, please save me. So when he's doing that, he's so close to Hashem that even if there are blocks someplace else, the bond between he and Hashem is so strong. Between him and Hashem is so strong that the, that the Mekatrikim are not heard. They're not paid attention to. So that's a second way to do it, which is to daven if there's a difficulty with intense kavana. That's hard to do. The third one, and this one is life-changing. The third one is very simple, and it's very straightforward, and it's a great Eitzah. I don't know why people don't talk about it more. It's a well-known idea, but it's one of those things the Eitzah is trying to get us to forget all about. How does it go? Just simply daven when things are going well, that you shouldn't have any blocks at all up in Shemayim. There shouldn't be any Mekatrigim up in Shemayim. So that what that does is that takes away a lot of those blocks, many, many blocks. And now the next time you daven, the tefillah goes straight up. That's the Olam. That's, that's a, a, a very effective way of getting your prayers to be answered. So again, we said three things. One is, daven before difficulty happens. Then the Mechadra game are not speaking, so your tefillah goes straight up. The second one is, daven with intensity, with focus, with kavana. You're so close to Hashem that even if Mechadra game are there, Hashem doesn't listen to them. The third one is, daven there shouldn't be any Mechadra game. So if you do those things, it makes your tefillah much more effective. And who doesn't want their prayers to be more effective?